Today on The Four, we're taking you along with us on a field trip. <laughs> Eat Street Crossing is a brand new food hall concept that just opened its doors in South Minneapolis. So we wanted to go and check it out, and we showed up hungry. Eat Street in South Minneapolis has long been a foodie haven. But there's a new kid on the block. How did you land here on Eat Street? It was something that we always wanted to do. A new kid who was actually in many ways here first. I think what we're trying to do is create this, you know, a meeting place. Meet Eat Street Crossing, nestled inside a building from the late 1800s. It's a place for gathering. And growing up in Singapore, Malaysia, hawker center, food courts is what my parents would take us to. This fresh food hall is the brainchild of couple Lina Go and John Ng. They partnered with other restaurateurs and spent years overhauling this massive storied space. Tell us about the iterations of this building. It was a theater backdrop production uh, company. And the second life of this building was the old Arizona studio where it was a eclectic mix of cafe, tarot card reading, wine shop, theater. And theater, and dance studio. A mix of pop art, lush greenery, and bold flavors for every palate. Burgers, pizza, sushi. Cocktails. Cocktails. <laughs> In a place spilling over with options. My favorite is always ramen because I you know, I'm kind of obsessed with ramen. <laughs> he is obsessed. So, so that's what I'm known for in the city. We decided let's head down to the sushi sure. counter. To split up. Jeff and John found their way to Sushi Dory. You're kind of still eating a sandwich, mm -hmm. but not a sandwich. Which touts sushi sandwiches and unexpected rolls. Can I order an order of uh, kimchi butter? Okay. And let me throw in uh, Holy Grail also, which is a spam roll. A spam roll? So People in this state love spam, it's yeah, fine. So. A little shop that's part of the building. Across the hall, when you come into the, the room here, you feel like you're in a different world. Stepping in. Lena and I duck into Ramen Show 10. Different music, different atmosphere, and you feel like you're in Japan. Inside, I learned a thing or two. A uh, typical time for finishing a bowl of ramen is 10 minutes. Before landing on our choice. What's the must try? My personal favorite is the classic, the Pio Pio. The best way to enjoy while it's hot and you slip and you can get on with your the rest, you know, the rest of the day. It's a Brazilian pizza. Back out here. Jeff and John discover something spicy and sweet. I think, you know, for starter, we should, you know, try the Brazilian. The Brazilian? Yeah, Brazilian. That's, that's one caught my eye, too. Yeah. And then we're going to round it out with a drink. Definitely. The boys are not on our level with this. <laughs> I love this. You can order a drink according to your astrological. Exactly. Side. This is so fun. <laughs> my Gemini cocktail has a plum infused Japanese whiskey. <laughs> Lena's is dark and moody with chai and espresso cold brew. As we sip at this breezy, oversized bar that flows out onto the oversized patio. Wow. It's like a vacation, you know, without going somewhere. Cheers. Yes, cheers. To the Taurus and, and the Gemini. And the Gemini team. Yeah. Look at us. Chow time. What did you find? Something I never thought I would. <laughs> From the dessert pizza with caramelized bananas on top of a golden crust. You have... What am I literally bringing to the table? <laughs> yeah. To beautifully plated gyoza with a lace-like crispy layer. Might be the ramen for me. Mm. Did I hear Spam Sushi? Because I'm spam interested sushi. in that. Spam Sushi, yes. Okay. Eat Street Crossing delivers on substance. Really good. Yeah, the flavor that's in this. Come on, Jeff. Not just style. I did that to myself. Yeah, of course. The perfect pairing to infuse something new into an established foodie corridor. This is, I think it's our time to let people know, hey, there's always hope and excitement yes. in life. And, you know, we just have to keep moving forward. <laughs> we were spoiled that day too because that was during that warm up when the yeah. temperatures were close to 80. I cannot wait for what that place is going to look like in the summer yep. with the windows open, the garage door open that goes out to the patio. Best thing I ate, spam sushi. Really? Mm -hmm. Best okay. Thing I ate. That gyoza on that lace thing looked incredible. Yes. John and Lena are fantastic.
Uh, their current restaurant, uh, Zenbox, is one of the best in the Twin Cities, mm -hmm. and this looks like a whole building of additional best. Basically, now. yeah, and they they have some partners too. And John told you he's obsessed with ramen. Yes. He's the ramen guy. He's known for his ramen. The ramen was uh, delicious, but so was everything that yeah. we Pizza, tried. You can't go wrong. And we couldn't even get to everything, right? They had burgers. They had ice cream. They have bubble yeah. tea. So many things. They just expanded their hours, so they're open uh, seven days a week now until 10 or 11, uh, depending on the day. Now they just need that patio weather back, Mike. Yeah. So that's. We send it over to you. For I that. understand. <laughs>